Hi Scorpio, this is your weekly reading from um, April 25th to May the 2nd. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share. If it doesn't, then check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy this week as well. Um, remember these are general readings, so maybe I'm just not connecting to your energy this week. And that's totally possible. All right, Scorpio, right off the bat, we've got anxiety here. You're feeling anxious, you're feeling in your head. Um, maybe you have a lot kind of on your plate right now, um, but we do have anxiety kind of right off the bat, which means we're just feeling anxious. Um, something's keeping us up at night here. Maybe tossing, and turning, having a hard time sleeping. Um, let's kind of see maybe what we're anxious about. Judgment, okay, maybe you're waiting for an outcome of something. Um, you might feel anxiety. I'm kind of getting this anxiety of feeling um, pressure. Um, judgment here, seeing um, pressure even, not even from outside sources. I'm just going to move my camera a little bit that way. Um, um, pressure not even from outside sources, but almost pressure from yourself here. Um, seems like you're kind of feeling um, that, that uh, judgment on yourself um, is the energy I'm kind of feeling here. Um, seeing if you can actually do something. Um, but you got to realize like things are coming towards you and ships are coming in here. Um, you got to get to this pace of um, kind of a understanding that you have the world in your hands here and allowing the offers kind of to come to you um, being anxious about it being anxious about if things are actually going on the way for you if you feel like um you're kind of judging yourself here in a way with this judgment um feeling like if you're prepared for the right opportunities come towards you you are you just kind of got to believe in yourself here and you got to let that because this anxiety does nothing for you it really like honestly doesn't Worrying about something uh, is not going to change anything. It's not going to make it better. It's just kind of going to make it worse, right? Because um, that's the energy we're kind of feeling. It's just, it's just going to make things a bit worse here. And it's causing us a bit of sadness. And really, we should be kind of the empress. We should be feeling ourselves. We should be feeling abundant things that are coming towards us. But this kind of anxiety that we're having is causing a bit of sadness. And so it's weird because we have this judgment of ourselves here and judgment of maybe, again, of our anxiety or the things that's kind of happening in our life. And it's kind of stopping us or blocking us from, um, I don't know, being a, being abundant and allowing things kind of just to come towards you here. Um, being present in the moment because we're just so kind of lost in our minds thinking about things constantly, Scorpio. You know, we're just constantly just in our head and it's just like, it's just causing more sadness kind of in our life. What do we have for Scorpio? How can Scorpios kind of overcome this, this anxiety? How can they champion kind of this anxiety here, Scorpios? How can Scorpios kind of get over and champion this anxiety? Hmm. There might be a new partnership on the way for you, maybe one that you didn't expect coming or didn't expect seeing here. Um, not only just like a partnership, could be a relationship, it also could be a working relationship here. I see there's a little bit of maybe conflict with uh, someone that you were working with, and maybe that's also kind of what is causing you anxiety as well. This could be a new person um, coming in as well after a time of, of conflict or time of you being like, all right, I'm going to um, kind of restart here. But it, it kind of seems there might be, again, like I'm saying, a little bit of fighting with this with this two of cups with this person maybe you're a bit kind of confused what to do in this situation with this person but now you're kind of seeing it clearly it looks like kind of um the confusion around this person is gone and the choice is made so i want to get more on the energy with this person okay a little bit of rebellion interesting not moving Maybe you're feeling like they're not, um, they're not stable in a way, that they're a bit too rebellious, There's, they're a bit too kind of all over the place, they're, um, not direct enough to kind of, um, move forward in this, um, I don't know if this is something, but it's just this energy of with, with this person here that is 
causing you this anxiety because it seems like someone is not structured and someone is a little bit rebellious and all over the place and maybe they're changing their mind and you know maybe they're not um they're not being kind of clear um exactly what the choice is here with you and it's making you very really anxious and it's not allowing you to move forward here because um you're just kind of maybe waiting for this person but i feel like you're almost going to um just start over and just be like okay whatever done this um i'm, I'm tired of, of this causing me so much anxiety and you're going to push forward that way um because truth is going to be revealed here with the moon re uh, reverse the truth is going to be revealed of the situation and that's a pisces card too so you might be dealing with pisces i have a taurus on the board as well um but you're holding on to an outcome a certain um too tightly holding on to this whatever this outcome is um, holding on to this idea, uh, to this thought, to this money, whatever it is connected kind of to this person here, you're holding on to like what could be um, too much and not what is kind of currently present. That makes sense, Scorpio. You're like, well, if you just did this, it could be this and I could be this and, you know, and then your anxiety gets, kicks in when that person is not acting the way you thought they should have or, or, or would have in the situation. So your just anxiety is just kind of running because you're like this is not what i was planning this is not what's going for but you gotta understand you gotta let some of that go because maybe there might be this new abundance start there might be this new ten of pentacles kind of on the way for you here um in a different direction but you're just holding on too tightly to, to this specific thing what else we got for scorpios here for scorpios Yeah, we're trapped in our thoughts are kind of causing us a lot of um fear and thoughts are kind of um, um stopping us here a bit it's keeping us a little trapped in our own minds trapped that we feel like we're trapped when really we kind of might not um be trapped there um in a sense our minds kind of um playing some games on us where um <sighs> I don't know why I just keep feeling like there's, there's other options. There's other things present here. Um, there it goes. See? It's happened like in every read. I need to figure out a better system for my tripod. <laughs> I mean, it is attached to... Um, it is attached to my charger cord, too. So probably why it's pulling it down. All right. Um, yeah, we just need to think of a... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like we, it feels like here, especially with the Four of Wands reversed. Before we were just so focused on what we thought the um what the thing was supposed to look like. We were so focused on how it was supposed to go. We were so focused on um this being the right place, or this being the right setup, or this being the right partnership, or this is the right advancement here. Um, we're so stuck on that that we didn't see maybe what the other the universe was also going to bring in or also usher in because we were so fixated especially on, on the stuff that's keeping us stuck and we're like well this one outcome is not working the way i wanted it to work or how it was supposed to go so um you know like you gotta let go of that a little bit and just kind of take it for what it is and if it's not working out for you then move on and move forward and get past it because you don't want to feel the stagnancy you don't want to feel um whether this is a relationship or partnership whatever or, or a business partnership whatever this is you don't want to feel like it's not progressing it's not moving anywhere because this person is a bit like too rebellious you know we're not listening to our gut intuition about things and i think once we kind of listen to our intuition our head's going to be a lot clearer we're going to take out some of that anxiety we're going to take out of the stuff that maybe we feel like we should be farther along where we are um this the stuff that um our life should go exactly the way this is um and we just got to kind of listen to ourselves here because we're having a little blocked intuition so something's like not um something's not feeling right like especially like in your gut is not feeling right trust that you know trust your gut trust your intuition don't trust the thoughts that um wet in your head for a thousand miles right um or the the kind of illusion that you created up there trust your gut if something feels wrong um if something feels like hey i have a gut feeling about this go with that always because it seems like there's just this little blocked intuition here And I feel like with the lovers here, there's this new either relationship, 
especially you have the two cups and the lovers here, that's gonna push you a lot forward. Maybe this, you know, maybe this is not fitting for a certain reason. Maybe there's something else on the way. Maybe there's a different kind of partnership coming in for you here, Scorpio, um, that will help you advance faster, but you're just not seeing a, a beyond it yet. You're not seeing that yet because you're just kind of so focused and anxiety of things not working out in this current moment that you're not seeing, but maybe something um, even better kind of is on the way or just lies ahead for you here. Um, yeah. Just delayed happiness, exactly what the sun kind of reverse means. It just, it doesn't mean that it's not gone, coming. It just means it's a little bit delayed. So don't try and, don't try and put, um, what, don't try to put a square in a, a circle hole? I don't even know why I thought of that. That's such a weird thing to say, but you know what I mean? Like don't try and make something fit if it's just not fitting. Um, is the energy I'm kind of getting this week. You have the sun reversed and you have the eight of pentacles, not walking away from something here. Not saying that you should walk, um, there might be just, I guess, I guess some, some shifts going on here for you. I'm not fully walking away from something, but just trying to maybe a different avenue that, um, that might be better for you. Let's see what we have for Scorpios, for our Oracle cards. All tied up, community, woman holding a coin. All right, let's see some Oracle for Scorpio. All right, yep, we're feeling it this week for sure. We got it. <laughs> cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. So I will read that to you because it definitely sounds like what all this, um, sounds like what all this kind of frustration is right now. Don't let the weight of the destiny of the world squash your tender spirit. Instead, let it call you even more to it home into your body, at the center front of your life. It's although the extreme pressure of life trials that diamonds are cultivated. It's when things are at their darkest that we uh, cultivate proper faith and our, our, our light is ignited. It's through the crumble of what we allow our wounds to be alchemized, to let your pain and sorrow and losses and make you not break you. Let life alchemize uh, your tragedies into gold. Be open to being cracked open, wide open. It's difficult times to help us grow in leaps and bounds in ways that we could only dream were possible. But first, we ha uh, first they have to crack us open. Sometimes it hurts like hell. It's a natural way. Whether you let it happen, um, let it happen or not, it's going to happen. So surrender to the process. It's how the light gets in. When your heart cracks open, a space is created for your soul to uh, soul to more fully enter. Your soul cracks open, a space is created for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. Let your trials, your sorrows, your pains, your losses transform you into something more and more of yourself. Stay open to the possibility that the tragedies, your losses, your sorrows, your hurt have happened to you, for you, and not to you. Bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you to open and surrender to the alchemy of life. And I think that's super important right now. You need to kind of be at this stage because I don't know, you've, especially with this all tied up and you kind of got the eight of swords here. It feels like we're feeling stuck, but it might just be our own kind of, our own selves making us feel stuck. Not feeling like there's more options than this, this only way we imagined it to go. This card shows a woman tied up with the veins around her wrists, bodies, arms. If receiving this card upright represents a situation in your life where things to see severely stuck. Major drama may be going on around you, stopping you from moving forward, or it may have techn uh, technicalities are blocking your way. Perhaps you're waiting for the contract to be signed or an agreement to be made. Whatever is holding things up, the restrictions you may be feeling, um, be feeling quite, uh, Impressive at this time. If it isn't technically the case for you, what's tying you up is your own personal stuff. Look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer. Well, are you tying yourself up in some emotional angst or in a negative habit that you refuse to deal with? If so, it's time to cut the vines and make some serious changes now. You need to live your self-imposed jail no longer. I think there's some, com it looks like there's this different option here. Um, this sense of kind of community that we got going on here and a woman holding a coin. I think what I was talking about where this new kind of lover comes in, this new maybe partnership comes in, might be this woman here holding this coin, right? Maybe this new financial opportunity. They're saying it's just right around the corner. You just gotta kind of open your, um, 
eyes a bit here. Maybe search for someone else within this community to kind of um, find what you kind of want or looking for. And I think community is going to be super important. So the people around you there should be helping you kind of get out of this space, get out of the space of the sadness that you're going through here, um, help you to bring you up out of it. Um, so you can see that there's more kind of options available to you. And maybe within the community, maybe if you join a new group, maybe if you do, I don't know, something like that, it will lead the way um, to this movement forward because it was um, a different path and it was a, it was a different step that you weren't seeing because you were just so fixed on this 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 um, path forward all right Scorpio that was your reading this week I hope that helped